Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger for Steam. So, when we last left off, uh, we we destroyed a buffed up Triceratops named Nisbel, and we got our key back. So now we have the Dreamstone, and now we can go back to the future to be able to repair the thing. Oh, but man, when we get back to the present time, when we get back to the present time, oh, oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Because I'm sure, if some of y'all remember from, uh, I think it was like two episodes ago, give or take, uh, there was a certain merchant in Medina Village who didn't, who didn't very well like us because we're humans and had very, very, very expensive items. And do you all remember what I said? I'm gonna remember you, sir. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back, you see. When I do, when I do, that Zambato is gonna be mine. It's gonna be mine. You don't know it yet. You don't know it yet, but it's gonna be mine. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, because I have plans. I have plans for the future. Yeah. Oh, I got Delta Force? It's a triple tech. Nice. All right, I'm just gonna dodge you guys, because I really don't need to bother with you. But yeah, now, now, hmm, like those, those prices, like 65,000? Oh, it's a shame. I got 589,000 gold. So not only can I buy some better weapons, but I think I can buy some better gear for everybody. And then, then we go from cracked to super cracked. Like we're looking at end game stuff now. And I'm barely halfway into the game. Like they should not, I understand the joke was like, oh, you're not supposed to afford these items yet. You're not supposed to afford end game items yet, but you let me game, you let me farm in a way where I could get all that gold. You let me farm. Hey, all right, I'll sell. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so let's see here. I will be taking this. Thank you. Um, Let's see. I will be taking this for one of them. Uh, We're going to be taking two of these because... Okay, and we're going to be taking two of these for a Frog when we get him. But oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. You guys. Oh, it's over. It's, 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 oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, and now, and now, and now to go talk to uh, Melchior, because he, my boy, the, uh, he needs to fix the sword now that we have the things. Dear me, you truly found Dreamstone. Yes, that'll be, that will quite, uh, that will do quite nicely. With that, I can make the blade whole again. But first, the Masamune. Uh, yeah, but first the Masamune, and now this Dreamstone. How in the world did you... You know what? No. No. I suppose it does not matter. Make yourselves at home. This will take some time. It's like, don't... I don't want to know. I don't want to know how you did this. I don't think my heart could take it. I'll lend you a hand. Meanwhile, uh, Chrono and Marley are just going to sit there and chill and be like, Hmm, yes, yes, very interesting. I, I totally know what's going on. I totally know the, the process of what of which you two are making this happen. Also, once again, love the fact there's the blade, there's the stone, where's the hilt? Of course, the dream stone must be refined if we are to repair the Masamune. But that is not all. The blade itself must be must be activated as well. Interesting. You work on the dream stone, and I'll take care of the sword. Okay, fear not. The great Luca knows her way around a workshop. Yeah, but do you have any idea what you're doing? Okay, I'm going to assume you do, Luca. I'm going to assume you know how to refine that mythical stone over there. So, all in all, we just have to sit here and wait and just watch the little animation of them just doing their thing. Alright, it's done. Could you bring me the Dreamstone? I'm done here, too. Grab the little mug, the Dreamstone. Pass it on over to the table over there. All right, let's get started. And we wait. Oh. Bright flash of light. The screen goes slowly white. Does it encompass the entire screen? Oh my god, yes. It's getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Those with bad eyesight might want to close their eyes about now. Because this is... Okay, now we're fading to black. Sorry to keep you waiting, but it was worth it. Oh, look at it. Look at it, it's so good. Behold, the Masamune in all its glory. Wow, 
Wow, that's the same sword we gave you? Amazing, isn't it? If you were expecting lesser work, <laughs> you shouldn't have come to me. Okay, Chrono, let's take the Masamune to Frog. Yup. Don't you just love time shenanigans? It's like, oh, there's no one in 600 AD who could repair it, but there's somebody in the present day. Oh, but he needs Dreamstone, which only existed in the prehistoric times. Well, it's funny that I know a way to get to the prehistoric times. Ha 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 ha. Alrighty. Oh, that's that's the future. I think I need here. Yeah, Truce Canyon 680. Oh, Froggy Boy, Froggy Boy, we have things for you. We ha I ha we have we have things for you. We have a sword for you, and we need you to come with us. But first, we have to make our way to Frog. Actually, yeah, I can just do this. Oh my god, I, I'm loving, I'm loving Otto now. It screwed me over in that boss fight, but it's so good now. It's like, oh, don't want to waste your time fighting uh, normal enemies? Hmm, that's, yeah. Let's go ahead and just skip all that. Alrighty, so we head down the bridge. Heading back to Frog's home for the, what, third time, I think? Mr. Frog! Mr. Frog, we will not be denied this time. We will not be denied this time. Do you understand? Hey, we're back. You've come again, after I told you specifically to leave. The sword. No, it could not be. The Masamune? Hmm. I must ponder this turn of events. You may remain here for the night. I, I, I got, I got a lot of thinking to do. And now we delve into Frog's backstory. Cyrus, you're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's long past time we reclaimed the the badge from the Frog King. And I need to see that sword with my own eyes. Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lean and I need you as well. So you, uh, so that you see that you return. So that where was I seeing so from C? Ah, yeah. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall. Come with me. Well then, by your leave. So yeah, Cyrus was like top badass knight. And this, this, this was back in the day. Sir Cyrus! On behalf of the knighthood, we wish you a safe journey and Godspeed. My brothers. I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from her enemies. Make it seem like he ain't coming back. Meh. <laughs> oh, right. <sighs> Excuse me a second. I keep forgetting to turn off notifications. I'm sorry. Pardon the delay. Let us be on our way. Yeah, just, just ignore the little steam notifications that pop up in the bottom right. I'm sorry. Glenn, you be careful too. Be well, your majesty. Hmm, Glenn. I wonder why he's important. Hmm. So here they go, fighting their way through the forest, which we do not do at all. Like, this is just story. This is just something we're supposed to watch. So, you seek the hero's badge, Knight of the Kingdom of Men. Come and take it then, if you can, Croak. That is what I mean to do. Nirvana Strike! Ah, I, I am beaten. Ah. Filthy badge, do not think I'll forget this. And just chucks the badge. Yeah. Glenn, watch out! <gasps> Cyrus, your sword! The Masamone! Okay, now here's the thing. Uh for for Magus, I kinda had a voice in the last playthrough, but I'm not entirely sure if I can pull it off anymore, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to ditch that idea. I'm going to have to play Magus as the straight man, because I don't think I don't think I could have been able to keep it up for very long. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing! <clears throat> You've not bested me yet! Cyrus, I, I'm done for. 
Listen to me, Glenn. I'll hold them here. Use this chance to escape. But, but... Stay, and they'll only kill us both. Go, Glenn. Hadn't you better... Yeah, hadn't you better worry about yourself, Cyrus? I do not think you've the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go! Ah! Oh, he tried. He tried. Cyrus! Run. Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of Queen Lean. I beg. Bleh. Cyrus? Cyrus! No! Just bursts into flames and just turns to ash, I guess. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you not going to try your luck as well? <laughs> like a scared little frog with no pond to jump into. How about it, Lord Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Very well. No act of defiance goes unpunished. No! Ah! It spins around and... <laughs> That's more like it, you spineless wimp. So, let's all take a stab as to what that was about. Ten long years have passed. Have I the strength? Oh, Cyrus. Yeah, so again, our, our boy here, he's got a lot of baggage. A lot of baggage. Awaken, Chrono! He's giving it some thought. I do not know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let us go to Magus's keep. His strength is no small thing. Do you understand the odds we face? Nothing can beat science! <laughs> yeah, okay. The good guys always win! No, no, that's a lie. That is an outright lie. Alright, so Frog, now that we got you in our party, let's give you some, uh, some upgrades, shall we? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold up, I want to see something. Uh, okay, so it doesn't increase magic defense. So, this will be interesting. But let's just see how much, how much damage the folks in Magus' castle will do to us. With our now semi-busted gear. No, also, as you noticed, possibly, uh, we look at Frog's equipment, right? Still rocking the Iron Sword. Can't, doesn't have anything else. Can't equip the Masamune. There's a reason for that, you see. We head to the Magic Cave, where... Music fades. And we're back to Sad Boy Hours. Because we have to go all the way back. Stop that! Oh no, it's Cyrus! Run! Lag it! <laughs> Thank you, Cyrus! <laughs> Glenn, there are times when a man must stand and face the things that trouble him. But it hurts to be hit. I can't hurt another. Not, not even them. Uh, you're too soft, Glenn. Glenn, Glenn was a kind boy, back in the day. He was just a boy, he was just a kind, gentle soul. Glenn, I've decided to join the knighthood. I thought as much. You'll be a fine knight, I'm sure of it. Why won't you come with me? Hmm, well... I... I cannot. But why? You're better at a sword than I. You always have been. You always have been. Yeah, I probably could have an announced that better. Enunciated, pronounced, whatever. I haven't the nerve it takes to be a knight. In a real battle, the fear would take me. See, he says that... See, first it was like, I don't think I could hurt anybody. Now it's like, I think the fear would, would overtake me, right? No! And we're back to this. 
but he still wound up being by Cyrus's side, so I don't know if he was actually given knighthood. So, yeah, him and Cyrus were buddies growing up. Then they went off to fight Magus, and Magus is like, mm, that's cute, die. And then they decided to turn Glenn into our amphibian friend here. And as he lays unconscious, the badge, the hero's badge. And here we are. Present day, the Masamune, if you please. Here's the thing, I don't know if the king and queen know that it's him. I want to say they would, but I'm not... It's never really been confirmed, I don't think. My name is Glenn. Long have I carried Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now I bear the Masamune as well. Henceforth, I claim them as my own. I shall slay the fiend lord Magus and restore our honor. And this is the most. I... I cannot stress how much I love this cutscene because it is so good. Like, it really drives home how awesome this sword is and how awesome Frog is. So good. Just like the, the updated rendition of his theme and just the animation. Ah, Love it. Though to be fair, the 16-bit the, uh, the version here also does a good job. There was supposed to be a sound effect there. I'm not entirely sure what happened. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, just doesn't have the same impact, you know? But now, now that, uh, I guess, Glenn has overcome his baggage, now, now he has the Masamune. So yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. Let's see, is it something only magic works against these? Let me see. Nope. Nope. Well, yes and no, I guess. Hold up. I think Chrono can do the damage because he has the sword that... Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. Oh! And I just remembered something. Okay, okay. I'm dumb. I was in a hurry to get on with the story. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I forgot. I have to take Frog to the end of time. I need to take Frog so he can learn magic. Yeah, could it be that you wield magic? I thought only fiends could employ it now. You might be able to learn it too, if you visit the end of time. So now, now we have to go back. Because I completely forgot about that. I completely, and the sad thing is, I think I actually reminded myself at some point during one of the last recordings to, to take care of that. It's like the moment we get Frog, go to go back to the end of time, let him learn magic, and then we storm the castle. But again, I forgot. These things happen. Oh, you poor things. You poor, poor things. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, to save time, I'm just gonna skip this segment. I'm just gonna show you the part where he gets magic, and then that, and then we go back to the thing. Now there's a weird fellow. Looks like his power is water, and a frog. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Epso ficto, yeah, blah blah blah. Magic. Boom. Have fun. 
Frog learned to use magic. Wait, actually, hold up, hold up. All four... Not yet. Not yet, sir. I want to see if maybe... Maybe... Hold on, do I need to have... Do I need to have... Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me, let me see if I can actually beat him. I'm curious now. Oh, no, no, not auto. Not auto. Jesus, no, not auto. Okay, there, there. Can, can we try this again? Okay. Oh. Okay. Hattie. We may have messed up. That man might still be a little too powerful for us. Oh man, come on. Yeah, okay, okay. I thought, maybe, maybe I'm a little cracked. Maybe I can take him out, but no. No, he's only as strong as he needs to be. That man is only as strong as he needs to be. This is a terrible idea. I, I am still not ready to take him on. Lesson learned. <laughs> I win. Yeah, you do. Lesson learned. Okay, back to the back to the cave now. Okay, now we're back, and now we can continue where we left off. Frog has magic. Everything is good. So, because I'd rather not waste any more MP, I'm just gonna try and bypass everything. Oh, hello, soldier. Who's dead? A message is scrawled in blood here. Beware the jugglers in the Fiend Lord's Keep. Strike them, and they tighten their defense against blows. Cast spells upon them, and they strengthen their defense against magic. Yeah, so basically you have to uh, alter your game plan. Hit them with physical, they put up a physical shield. Hit them with magic, they put up a magic shield. And just, you keep switching back and forth. But here we are. This is it. Man, this introduction is so good. The Fiend Lord's Keep. His castle. Okay. Now then. Nice interior. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now... We have to explore everything. Hello, small children. This is our treasure. Hee 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 hee. Let's play! <laughs> and one is just silent. Oh, hello, King. Fancy meeting you here. How do I, how do I get you to talk? Okay. Frog, you're safe. Nadia, forgive me, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. I have to run through them, I guess? All right. Uh, no? Oh, there we go. Kronos, this is where you've been since, uh, since the fair something I think I wandered off too far. Talk again, mother dearest. You had me worried sick. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing here. Do 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 do. Just gonna bypass everybody. Cause this is what you do. They make you explore the castle before anything happens. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, hi. Well, I'm just gonna take that if you don't mind. Small children, let's play. Let's play. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, so not not too much uh diverging dialogue. Okay. See, mid ether. There's a sword on the wall there. Shelter. Okay, and now we head back. Don't mind me, folks. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna, gonna go through here. Oh, look, a save point. Except not. It's the big man. The big one. Ozzy! Oh, I forgot I clicked out of the window. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome, Glenn, or should I say, Sir Froggy? <laughs> Never expected to see you here. Are these your com uh, complete? Oh, these are your replacements for Cyrus. Jesus Christ, I can't read. Lord Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take your business up with me. After you take it up with the Master Swordsman Slash and fully the Magician. That is. Oh, right. And uh, wait for it. Wait for it. And all 100 beasts in this keep, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Not auto. Not auto. 
again, I keep forgetting to turn that off. Um, so here's the thing, right? Did anybody else notice the, uh, the theme? We have, uh, the big green dude, Ozzy. Uh, what was it? Slash the Swordsman and the Magician Flea? Flea, the drummer for Red Hot Chili Peppers, Slash the guitarist for Guns N' Roses, and Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. Somebody was a fan of music. Okay, do you want our treasure? Yes. I don't know what it is, but sure. Okay, but first, play with us. Please, pretty please. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? Sure, why not? Boom. And now you're dead. Two, three, four. All right. So, let's see. What do I get? A barrier sphere! Hooray! Actually, you know what? You know what? I want to take care of something first. I think I'm going to go deal with this side first. You know? So, don't mind me, guys. I don't know what you got going on here, but I want no part of it. All right, hang on. Uh, Let me... Yeah. Um... Okay, we're good. Please help us escape from this eternal suffering. Yeah, it is, it is not fun to be uh, to be a skeleton soldier. Oh, that's cute. You did eight damage. Good on you, bud. You tried your best. I will give you an A for effort. And now you're all dead. Okay, 60 experience, 5 tech points, 450 gold. Hmm. It seems you freed my undying slaves. Such insolence. Look at this dude. It's been ages, Slash. I must admit, I'm, I'm not, hey, I not even dreamed you, uh, Jesus. I not even dreamed you would have been, had the courage to come here. Find the courage, whatever. Had Cyrus not been with you the last time, your fate would have been the same as all the others. But I'm sure you'd have fit right in with those skeletal servants of mine. Mm-hmm. Cute. Sir, you know what's about to happen? Let's, uh, let's see here. Because I'm curious. How much damage do we do? 649? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, you know what? Let's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. First. First. Alright. Alright. Here's the game plan. I want to see how much damage Ice Sword 2 does. I'm curious now. Alright, buddy boy. How much are we looking at here? 543. Really? Hmm. Jab, lunge, thrust. Rude. Only 53 damage. Oh. Sword stream. Let's see what that does. I'm trying to find, like, the, the, the heavy hitting abilities. 378. Okay. Not, not too bad. Uh, I don't have like a. No, well. Well, let's see. Um, I think uh, the Masamune can do a decent amount of damage on its own. So maybe Chrono and Marley need to focus on the dual techniques. Ah, there we go. All right, so that's how that ends. You have some prowess. For the first time in ages, perhaps, uh, yeah, for the first time in ages, perhaps I'd best employ all of my own as well. So that's a sword. And you, without Cyrus. You've no hope. Hmm, yeah, you say that, bud, but at the same time, oh, Marley is not looking good on MP, so let me go ahead and do that. 
Oh no, it's Chrono who's not looking good on MP. Never mind, never mind. All right, let me go ahead and heal up Frog since he's kind of taking a beating here. All right, sir. I'm getting tired of your shenanigans now. Hi again, future me here. As I'm editing the video, I just happened to notice something. Um, love the fact that I used Ice Sword 2 on this guy. I used this amazing technique on Slash, and it did no damage. And during that, past me decided not to make any kind of point about that. And it kind of blew my mind. Like, really? You you just you just used a technique and did zero damage, and you're not even going to acknowledge it? Okay. So that's what I'm here for. Oh, come on. Uh, all right, all right. You know what? Fine. Let's let's heal up real quick. I'm not, I mean, I'm not exactly too cracked that he doesn't put up a decent fight. You know. But I am making progress. Again, no damage. I have no idea why I kept trying. Oh my god, sir, how much health do you have? Come on. Just die already. Wait, what? All right, sir. Is it physical now? Is it all just physical now? That should not have done no damage to you. Oh my god, I finally noticed I'm not doing any damage. I am appalled. I am appalled. That that, that that move did no damage to you. I call shenanigans. Like, did you do something that, uh, that makes you resistant to magic that I wasn't paying attention to? Okay, okay, I hear ya. Enough. What you're doing is rather rude. Wait, hold up. If I'm just gonna keep doing physical, I can just do this, right? If that's how he's gonna be. Ooh, wait. Come on, come on, come on. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. Dang, not the damage I was looking for, but oh well. Okay, so yeah, magic is just not working here. Good, good to know. Sir, seriously, how much health do you have? Like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised you've lived this long. We'll talk. Oh, there we go. Okay, 500 experience, 10 tech points, 1,500 gold. And Chrono leveled up. Let's go. Marley leveled up. Unbelievable. But to fall fighting for Lord Magus... There could be no greater honor. Alright, so... I'll take that, but kind of worse than what I'm using. I mean, it, it buffs up my speed, but my strength goes down to 81, and I... It, it's just not worth it, you know? I'm gonna stick with what I've got. It'll be fine. Okay. So that's one enemy out of the way. Next, I believe, is the Magician Flea. So let's go ahead and see here. Oh, I mean, I, I could deal with you guys, but I'm good. <laughs> they 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 want to hurt me. They would like to hurt me. But this 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 let's play is kind of dragging on a bit as it is. The magician flea, I presume. So, get the physical. Oh wait, nope. That was the end of the fight. Never mind. Yeah, well, that was simple enough, but yet... That was not Flea. Where is the true one? 
<laughs> I'm here, right here. You notice the, the bat that's been following us ever since we went into that cave? Greetings, little green one. What's with her? She is a powerful magician. Do not lower your guard. Flea is not the, the mere woman she seems. Uh, yes, yes, I, I am a man after all, all right. That's a guy? <laughs> man or woman, it's all the same. Power is beauty, and I'm deliciously strong. Poor little froggy, you must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone. And to be turned into something so hideous, how dreadful. But since you've brought your new friends over to play, let me show you all a good time. Yeah, so plot twist, please a, please a dude. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and just uh, get my ether back up and running. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Wait, I have a panacea, don't I? Is that, does confuse count as a status ailment? Let's see. Uh, indeed it does, good to know. All right, let's see here. Yeah. All right, decent, decent. Not quite what I'm looking for, but you know. Um. Okay. What about? Okay. Oh, does that wake me up? Yeah, that woke me up. Now poisoned. Fantastic. Um. I sort too. Let Let me see. I want to know. Hmm. All right. Uh, no, no, not again. Oh God, yeah, he, he's someone I really don't need confused. He, uh, he is definitely the heavy hitter. Okay. Uh, uh. Woo! Got that just in time. So let's go ahead and pop haste on everybody if I can. Uh, let's give it to Frog. I don't even know if this is uh if there's a point to this considering the fact that the look. Oh no, she she he uses. I'm gonna go with he. He uses Chrono anyway, so that's that's irritating. All right, so that is that. Why do you two not have dual healing yet? I'm 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 real tired of your uh, your status ailments, um, uh, dude, sir. Um, uh, because he's blind, he can't. Oh man, that's a problem. No, no, not again. Okay. Okay, it don't it don't do it don't do too much damage. It's fine. It's fine. It's doable. And all right. All right. Okay. Okay. Now I am really tired of your shenanigans. No, don't use the look. I don't appreciate the look. All right, um, Marley, hurry, please. Oh yeah, no, haste kinda. Oh right, because she's flipping a sl oh my. All right, cool, so now he's dead because, oh my God, poison, it's the best thing ever. Uh... Like, I can't keep up. I just, I can't keep up. Everybody's just so low on health. And, yeah, I'm going to be super cracked. No. No, as a matter of fact, you're not. Oh, my God, please, no. No, 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 no. Aura World? Oh, God, you don't have Aura World. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. 
Okay, everybody's at a decent amount of health now. Yes. Oh, oh, come on. Uh. It's just all about the status ailments with this person. You are beyond irritating. Do you know that? Come on, come on. Let's go down already. Please just go down already. Okay, there we go. 510,000. Yes, thank you. But but I'm so beautiful. Lord Macus. Did you die? You and your you and all your status ailments. Being an absolute pain in my ass. So, we're gonna go ahead and use the magic capsule on... Marley. And that, that is gonna do it for this part. So if you like what you heard, you like what I do, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. Until then, have a good one.